A20 petrol. Why is everybody so upset about A20 petrol? They're upset because uh, when they're running their cars on E20 petrol, they are getting much lower mileage. Cars, motorcycles, scooters, all of them, much lower mileage compared to say regular petrol. And now they don't have an option of buying regular petrol because literally across India you have some kind of ethanol blending going on in the petrol. Now, let's understand what E20 petrol is and why is it causing a mileage drop. E20 petrol refers to ethanol blended petrol, where ethanol is blended with petrol, you know. 80 20 ratio. So, if you have 1 liter of uh, E20 petrol, you have 800 ml of petrol, 200 ml of ethanol. Now, ethanol's energy content is only about 65 to 70 percent of that of petrol. So, to make things easier for you to understand, let's assume that 1 liter of petrol, 1000 ml of petrol, has 1000x energy, 1x per ml. Now, uh, ethanol has only 650x to 700x of energy, 1 liter of ethanol. When you club both 800 ml of petrol, 800 x plus say uh, 200 ml of ethanol, instead of 200 x, you'll just have 130 x to 140 x. Club both, you'll have only 930 to 940 x amount of energy. Regular petrol, if it produces 1000 x amount of energy, let's assume that your car can go 10 liter, uh, kilometers per uh, liter of regular petrol. When you add E20 petrol in your car, which is E20 compliant, that is very important. Assume that your car is already E20 compliant, it can run E20 petrol. You add one liter of ethanol, you know, E20 petrol in your car, it can go only 9.3 to 9.4 kilometers. So you have a straight mileage drop of 6 to 7 percent in a E20 compliant car. But E20 compliance is only after 2023, only after that, you know, you have cars that are E20 compliant. What about cars that are older than that? They're not E20 compliant, they're E10 or E5. In some cases, they're not, uh, you know, compliant with ethanol at all. They should not be running any form of petrol which has ethanol in it. In such cars, the mileage dip is drastic. You know, there are people saying that my car used to give 12 kilometers per liter on regular petrol. After shifting to E20 petrol, my car is suddenly giving me only 9.5 kilometers per liter. So what is the difference? The difference here is that car is not tuned to run on E20 petrol and it's giving you bad mileage because first of all, E20 doesn't have the same level of energy as regular petrol. Second of all, that car is just not tuned to run on that. That is why they experience such a big mileage drop despite driving in the same conditions, same kind of roads and same kind of driving. So this is what is upsetting people. But E20 petrol not just reduces mileage, but it has a bunch of other side effects which may not be good for your car. We'll get to those side effects in subsequent videos. Thank you very much for watching.